Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are continuing our Seleucid campaign in RTR Imperium Serectum version 0.6. And looking at it, we are building in a lot of places. I keep saying that. We're still not quite got to the point where we're building everywhere, which is a little bit annoying. Um, because I really did want to get to that point quite soon, but it's not too many we're not building in, so hopefully. Once Bactria is mopped up and we're into India as well, we'll start making an absolute fortune uh, from there. And also, of course, our plans for Greece are coming along very nicely, aren't they? So let's zoom out a little bit. I believe we've done everything we can up in the north. Are we retraining the boys in here? Yes, we are. Very nice. Uh, we've got a nice little bit of uh, mercenaries over here. Let's... Uh, combine those two make sure so there's no point having a single guy uh, and the rest of them can stay as they are uh, but yeah Bactria is just making a bloody fortune right now and you can see just building those roads has instantly made the trade in this region so much better so much better so yeah we are doing very well I'm very happy with how things are going don't be surprised by the no intro guys i have been mentioning it for the last few episodes um and like i say i will maybe do a couple more intros especially uh, definitely on the last episode of this as well um but we need to restore alexander's empire first which we're pretty much nearly done nearly done we just have the small task of taking greece <laughs> I don't think it'll be too bad honestly because our armies now are so so strong like, look at these boys. They are going to be brutally strong uh, in a second. And then we'll get these guys all retrained as well. A very damaged army from that battle with the Galatians. Uh, but let's... I think we've got a single battle to do. Unless... We do also have this battle. I'm thinking we grind that force down a little bit more. Because it is big stone walls. What walls are they? They are just the standard stone walls. Um... But yeah, our army here is a bit damaged, Antiochus's army. So yeah, I think we just wait a little bit on that one before we keep moving forward. Uh, over here, we're waiting for the places to become happy, of course. Uh, and we are recruiting a load of these boys down here. We've also got a big garrison in this place. Although they're a bit unhappy right now. And they have no games uh, we can do, do they? Oh, they do have games. I wish there was a thing there. We'll put it on monthly games for it to uh, to accept that. Um, but at some point, we should go through all the games. But yeah, it's fine. For now, though, let's attack this army. Actually, let's not. Let's auto-resolve that. We only lost 60 there. And let's get into Pimelosia or whatever the hell it's called. Uh, and let's get that. Oh, Ple <laughs> Pileomenes. Or was that the guy? No. Yeah, Pimelosia. Le God. Pimalisa, there we are. <laughs> I can't read today, guys. That's, uh, yeah, very scary thing when you're starting a campaign if you can't read. Uh, but anyway, and this army, what I think we'll do with it once we are, uh, once it is retrained, is probably go back and have another go at this one. Potentially, I'm thinking we should maybe bash in another elephant in here if we get the money. Uh, we can't build it there. Yeah, maybe an elephant for these boys. And I think then we'll be able to destroy this army. Imagine the elephants running rampant through there. So I think that's everything for this turn. So let's end the turn. If you do hear a little bit of a buzz behind me, guys, it is just because I have the fan on. Because for some reason in the UK, it has got really, really warm in early September. Some When it normally is, is never this warm. So I don't know. Global warming, eh? Global warming. But... Anyway, okay, that's fantastic. Thank you, Pontus, for that, because we will absolutely ruin this army. So they do have a nice little Cappadocian cavalry, um, which is a very good unit, but oh, our, our archers are pretty screwed, aren't they? But So they're coming from one side. They will come in from the back. I kind of want them all to come in so we can destroy this army and take the settlement. But another battle for Antiochus the Angry to prove himself. I'll see you there, guys. Here we are. Dawn? It looks like night now. 
Yes! Very good! So, honestly, I don't want to fight in the trees. It's really hard to see, especially in this darkness. I'm sorry, guys. I know the darkness does annoy a few of you, but I can't... Um, I can't do the darkness. Uh, I can't change that. So, yeah. There we are. Get rid of those. I can't change that. The AI has chosen that, so there's nothing I can really do. Hope they don't come in from this side. We'll be a bit screwed then, won't we? But wherever that that first unit is, it's just like a slinger unit. So where is this second army coming in? Oh, it is pretty much right behind us. <laughs> well, I mean, we're not in too bad a situation. Let's get there. Let's get the archers there. We will be able to block in the Cappadocian cavalry actually a little bit, which is not too bad. Uh, and while we're at it, let's send the smaller, weaker units off to kill whatever this is. It's a slinger or something, isn't it? Where is it? Asian slinger, yeah. That will, we'll, have a, we'll have an absolute party with those boys. Fantastic. So, yeah, here comes the AI. Let's go squish them up a bit. Uh, they're moving a little bit quicker than I expected. So let's get you guys. You guys get off there. Start running. And let's get these boys in here. Get running, boys. Have we killed the Asian Slinger yet? We've got to kill it all, remember? So let's kill them all. Let's make sure we're all on fire at will. You on fire at will as well, my friend. So yeah, the Cappadocian Cavalry is going to be quite strong. But we have managed to block them in. So they won't be able to... Uh, to really escape and do the major damage that we know they can do. How many is left of those boys? Three. Cos okay. Come back. We'll get you boys. Get you around here. It is quite dark, isn't it? So I am sorry about that, guys. Uh, but there isn't anything else we can do about it. Right, let's come forward then. And uh, let's come forward with these boys as well. And let's get our cavalry... Ready to go. Where is the boys? Come on, boys. Let's go. Let's get you around here. We've got plenty of space on this side of the map. Let's go. We've kind of let the cavalry through. That's the problem here. What is that cavalry? Well, let's go after them. I don't care about that, that cavalry. Fire at it. Ah, skirmish of cavalry. Am I really going to complain about skirmish cavalry again? Yes, I am, guys. I hate it. With a passion. With a violent passion. So here they come. They think they're hard enough. They're literally not. They're just dickheads. Right, let's go. So they think they can go after my archers. They run away. <laughs> what fools. What fools that they are. Right, let's get those slingers. Let's get these boys in here. Let's go fight those Asian light spearmen. Yeah, we're getting absolutely savaged by the uh, the horse archers now. Get you guys. Let's make sure we're firing at the Cappadocian cavalry. You guys over there can protect. Oh, savage them. Good. Let's get into these boys then. And they'll have no army left very soon, so I, I don't really see... There's no point us just chasing them around like fools. Let's get there. Looks like they're going for the charge. That's fine. Like I say, I don't mind the charge. I guess these boys then. Yeah, they should break pretty quickly. Now we've caught them. Good. All thanks to the archers. Let's go. Get them quickly if you can. If they stop, we might have a chance of getting them. But nope, it doesn't seem like it. So that's fine. Get back there. Uh, right, boys. You guys in there. This is just, yeah. Just a classic Pontus army. <laughs> How many have they died so far? They've still got a lot of men, actually. So we've got to make sure that we kill as many as we can. Well, they've actually retreated out of the battlefield. That's not good for us. Right, Antai, because you go after them then. Yeah, now they're going to die. 
So make sure we kill all of them. We need to get them down to 15%, remember? Fire at them. Let's get there. One of you chase them. Are they going after the battlefield as well? That'll be quite annoying. You guys get around this way, or we'll go around this way, actually. So that Cappadocian cavalry is just going to be annoying, isn't it? It's just going to be here just to annoy us. Like, we can't do anything about it. We've got to just kind of soak up the arrows, which is unfortunate, but unfortunately the only thing we can do. And yeah, we need to get them down to 15%, and uh, we've got to kill this whole Cappadocian cavalry then, which is not going to happen, I don't think. Let's kill. I mean, there's only 11 more of those boys. Let's get there. Oh, there's a few of these boys, if he will actually kill them and not run around like an idiot. Yes, can you actually kill those boys before they escape, please? Oh, well done, Antiochus. Just failing once again, unfortunately. All right, um. All right, boys, just get here. Like, I don't know what this Cappadocian cavalry thinks it's doing. But it's incredibly annoying, whatever it, it thinks it is doing. Let's get over there. Get Antiochus this way. And let's try and squeeze them into a big circle. Let's trap them. Oh, I've uh, just clicked off the game. Sorry about that, guys. Tabbed out. Tabbed out for a second there. Right, let's go. Absolutely kill them, mate. Whichever way they go, they shouldn't be able to... Oh, my God. You're kidding me. I was going to say, whichever way they go, they shouldn't be able to escape. Well, we'll catch a couple of them, and that should make them stop and turn around. Yes. Fantastic. They are a very good unit, though, remember? So, even in melee, it's not certain. It says 6%, but I, I don't think we will have destroyed the garrison there. So, let's just continue and kill as many as we can while we can. Oh, that's it. Good. So, yeah, I think that 120 there is not going to be enough to take the city. Uh, P. Lyomenes, the 52nd. What the hell? <laughs> the 52nd of his name. Wow, that's a long family. That's a big family you got there, mate. A uh, long line of the P. Lyomenes captains. But anyway, I will see you back on the campaign map, guys. Here we are, and yes, as we thought, we did not take the city, but we should be able to auto-resolve that one without any problems, especially the fact that they don't have a general in there should really save our losses quite significantly. Uh, but Pontus is, is slowly but surely dying. That's Sinope, isn't it? So that's a very major city on the uh, northern Anatolian coast we're about to take, which is fantastic. So let's take it now. Should be easy. 24 men. Don't mind that at all. We did lose all our archers. Um, that's never fantastic. Uh, but yeah, Antiochus does have seven influence. That's probably why this settlement's so happy right now. A lot of Greek buildings in here. Nice. That's what I like to see. Although, uh, I know it says Anatolian. They just look Greek. Uh, let's delete that, of course. And we got 150,000 now a turn, boys. That's what I like to see. That is what we like to see, isn't it? And let's go straight in with the Shrine to Hera. And, yeah, I don't know whether we'll be able to move. We need some garrisons in this northern part. They've still got a few big cities over here. This one as well. That might be the end of them, but we do still have to be very wary of those scripted armies that might come and have a go at us. So, yeah, let's let's make sure that we... Uh... Is this got games on right now? It does. Let's go back to yearly now. Still can't accept the yearly. Um, it does cost us money to put those games on, remember, guys? So, I want to avoid putting them on too much. This army is just a brutal army, isn't it? Um, right, let's have a look at this army. Very nice indeed. Get all these boys out and ready to go onto the ships. Because Diodotus is going to come and, uh, join that army. Now, let's get these boys in here. Let's retrain everyone we can. They'll also get the armor upgrades, which will be fantastic. And while we're at it, let's 
go for the Indian War Elephants. Heavy. We now got the Heavy Boys. Yes, come on. That's fantastic. They will be an absolute godsend against the Galatians. Those Galatians will not have seen anything like it. So it looks very much like that's as far as we could go with Big Diodotus. In fact, we could actually meet in the middle, couldn't we? So if we get these boys on there. Oh, they won't. That was, that was all the movement they had, apparently. Getting elephants onto ships, very difficult, guys, apparently, which I, I, can, I can agree with. <laughs> I can fully agree with. Let's get back on the ships, though. And, yeah, let's get off here. I mean, at this point, if our ship gets destroyed, we can just march down to the last Ptolemaic settlement anyway. Um, but, yeah, where's our spy? I do want to see the other settlements around this region because I want to take them. Make a little colony down here in the southern tip. Uh, protect that trade coming into uh, the Gulf of Aden. And yeah, we shall control the trade on the strait here, which will be great. So let's have a look at what we have. Rioting in Pakora. So only one place rioted this time. Not got games here. You, where are you going? You're going supposed to be going there. Uh, yeah, go in there. That should help it out quite significantly. Just so far away from anything. I mean, if this rebels, it's not exactly the end of the world. It's not like the greatest settlement we've ever seen, is it? So, let's go for... I think, honestly, we go for that first colony and try and get this place to become Greek. Uh, but, yeah, we shall see. Antiochus the Angry, the army routed. Good. Plenty of stuff there. And we've got a construction report. Hopefully, it's not a huge... Oh, yeah, it's a lot of construction. <sighs> As always, as always, as it always should be, really, isn't it? Um, one thing I wanted to note, guys, is we, we have still got Kyrene as a protectorate. That They haven't really expanded. They do have a few armies flying about. But, yeah, we've had them since the start of the game, which is great. Doing a good job for us, aren't they? So, oh, hello, army. I don't know what you're doing, but you look kind of scary. Uh... And let's leave then. I kind of want if we leave a mercenary Asian guy behind, how bad is the public order? Pretty bad. Honestly, pretty bad. We're getting a spy up here as well. How about if we leave behind some skirmishers as well? And see if we can replace them with some actual good mercenaries. Uh, yeah, no, it's not great. What have we got? Oh, baby, come on. Let's go. That's what we like to see. Maybe some Scythian archers. Maybe they'll sort it out. Oh, we do have a spy here already. Good. I forgot about I forgot about that. So, I just kind of wanted to come up here and see, like, is there any settlements in this region? And see whether we should go and take them. They're probably not worth taking, to be honest. But, yeah, how was that now? 64%. With the Shrine to Hera, that's plenty good enough. So, let's come over here. And we will fight this army. But let's go and do the rest of our movement first, like we always like to do. You can't move. They've got nothing in there. That is fantastic. Uh, right, in the north then. So Antiochus. None of these places... No, we don't want to leave any of those boys behind, really. So let's see if we can get a mercenary. I know it's not exactly efficient, but we will come back to this region when we can. See, like these Galato guys so let's get everyone out let's see they're still happy with that garrison in with one unit though it might not be the case yeah no like 25 percent with no units in it's actually not too bad it's better than some some of the stuff we've seen before 50 percent honestly is not horrendous i thought i would have repaired that last turn why is it not repaired this turn that's a little bit strange um what are the other mercenaries? I mean, the Galatians are fantastic. They're very expensive, though, so let's not get those boys. Uh, I don't. I really just don't want to leave behind like a Theroporoi or something because it's just expensive. It's not really worth it. I mean, sixty percent plus the ten percent from the Shrine to Hera. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go to Amisos. Get that in there. Get the ladders. They've got big walls there. Oh, just a third level. I don't know why we couldn't get a uh, one of those other things then. Have we got Trapezus down here? Is that owned by Pontus? Let's have a look. 
Lysippos. Good name. I like that name. Uh, we're still waiting to be happy over here. Get the Odeon in place. And then have we... Like here, for example. Like, do we need these boys in here now? Get out. Yeah, not quite. We don't need all of them. So let's get these guys up here to start garrisoning some of these cities. Uh, even potentially one in Zella to garrison there as well. And these boys, one more turn and then they'll be ready. These guys, they're all into their repairing. Uh... Oh, wait, we just took that settlement, didn't we, this turn? So that's probably... Uh, <laughs> that's why it's not been repaired and built. <laughs> that would make more sense, wouldn't it, guys? That would make a lot more sense. So you guys are going to go join up there. You guys are still waiting. Uh, so we've got one army there. One army on the way. Where is that army gone? So they went from Pergamon to here. So... Where is it? Am I? I'm just being so... I must be being so blind. Oh, no. It's... God damn it. It's all getting me straight. I'm losing count of the turns now, guys. Like, we've, we're having so many turns and, like, going through so many different things. It's hard to keep track. One more turn until those Agira speed airs are done, which is fantastic. So, while we're at it, let's get our spy around here. To go and have a look at what's going on. And uh, yeah, I think that's all the movement we can do. So let's get on to... Oh, apart from the battle in the top. Let's do all our building first, though. So let's go with Antioch. What can we build in Antioch? I mean, we've built pretty much everything we want to here, haven't we? Uh, awesome Temple of Hephaestus. I think let's go for the Great Agora, though, while we can get some extra cash. Damascus. Uh, Damascus. I mean, we don't have a governor here, so no point for an academy apart from the law. So let's go for the population growth, because it's only on 0 0.5. Edessa over here. Let's go for the Odeon. Make sure we can make that happy when we want to. Um, same thing in Antiochia Migdonia. Let's get the aqueduct so it'll start growing again. Arbella over here. Let's go for the Odeon. Let's make everyone happy. And, yeah, Dura Europos. Let's go with the secret police HQ. So we'll go for happiness and law, really, again, guys. So apart from special regions where we want to do something different, let's go for the large temple of Taiki there. Alexandria Charax. Let's go for the Odeon, just in case. I don't doubt, I doubt any of those regions will become unhappy, but that's fine. Um, Susa is kind of just fine, whatever. It doesn't really matter what we build there. Uh, Ephesus definitely matters what we build here. So I think we go for probably the next level of crop rotation just to make that population growth go up and get us some more money. And then Sardis, because we've been building all our different military buildings, we have neglected this economically, but it can become an absolute economic hub. So let's pop that spice road in there. Look at that, an extra thousand gold. How much does the mines bring? Oh, 2,000. And it's only four turns. That's what we like to see, boys. 2,000 extra a turn for the boys. Let's go. Um, Apamea Kibotos. Not exactly the best place, so let's go with an Odeon there. We're losing population... Well, maintaining population at Sagalassa, so let's build something there that can build it up. Let's go for the large mines at Iconion. Uh, Tarsos. Let's also go for the large mines. I know they're very expensive, but they'll take a long time, and they're also going to bring us a lot of money in the long run. Europos Ragai, let's go for that secret police HQ, because I doubt, yeah, they've still got major corruption in that region. Hecatompolos, so this one we might not be able to build, like, everywhere or a lot of places, but we will make a lot of money from all these buildings we're building this turn. Uh, we're building kind of more expensive buildings, and obviously as our cities get larger, the buildings just become more and more expensive to build, don't they? So... Let's go with the Secret Police HQ there. Alexandria Ariana. I think we go for the crop rotation. Although, oh my days, where is that population growth coming from? Yeah, I was going to say, all the enslavements in the top in uh, Bactria has caused a population growth to go mental there. Uh, Nicomedia, one of the earliest, maybe the earliest settlement we took. Or maybe, uh, no, it was Nikea, wasn't it? That I think was the, the first settlement we even took in this whole campaign. 
So let's go for that one. Lick on Polis. I do like the idea of having paved roads the whole way down the Nile. So let's get that one in there. Then Adramition, like all these ones on the coast that have uh, um, upgrades to their ports, definitely worth getting those in as well. And again, they're very expensive, but they're going to make us an absolute ton of cash over time. Let's get the Odeon in there, just because it's a little bit unhappy. A bit of cultural unrest could really, really put us back. Jerusalem's not growing anymore, but it is a huge city, so we actually don't need any more growth. It's making 6,600 a turn. Whoa, look at all those buildings. Fantastic. Colonni, let's go with the aqueduct in there as well. Get that extra bit of population growth. Nicophorion, I think Odeon as well, just to keep it happy. Although it's very happy, Nicophorion. Surprisingly so. So let's go instead with the Agora. A bit more expensive, but it's fine. Apamea Sitakane, let's go for the Odeon there. I mean, actually, no. Let's go for the Temple of Taiki. Let's build up that money, money, money. Arhapa, let's go for the extra population growth. Asur, probably the same thing in Asur, to be honest. Yeah, it's not growing at all. But a few buildings in there as well, good. And let's go in here for the Odeon and Pasagardia. Ooh, look at that. Kios, let's go for the sewers. Tyre, let's go for the paved roads. Oh, yes. Look at all that building. That just really makes me happy, honestly. <laughs> as, a uh, as a campaign management nerd, honestly, that makes me incredibly happy. That makes me happier than the greatest heroic victory that uh, we could achieve. Karakizion, uh, let's build the stables for that extra law. Uh, Arsinoclisma, let's go for the execution square. And Memphis, anything we can build. There is actually a couple of things. Shrine to Taiki, let's go. So, yeah, fantastic. Lots of building. How many did we have left that we need to build in? Probably a lot, to be honest. I mean, yeah, it's, it's always a lot. <laughs> it's always a lot, right? Let's go and have a fight with this yes. army that's in the, the hills. I believe this will be a horrible battle map hey. for us. But they have actually retreated. I don't know. Oh, there's a settlement there. You're kidding. Was not expecting that. But this army that we have is unfortunately going to be outmatched by them. They do have some uh, a lot of horse archers. So let's just have a quick check for mercenaries. No mercenaries available. We just need to corner them. So we need to, to, to push on them fast with our infantry. And they, they've got that settlement there. I didn't even know there was a settlement there. But that's cool. They're hiding out in the hills. So I will see you on the campaign, on the battle map, guys. Here we are, guys. And sorry we missed the thing. I was just basking in the glory of, uh, <laughs> of the fan that I've got behind me. Because I'm turning it on and off between the... Uh, between the battles and stuff, and I'm turning it back off when we get into the battles um, <laughs> and onto the campaign map. Let's see where they. Yeah, I thought they would, but that's actually fantastic for us because we need to. We need to really. We need to rush forward. Let's not rush right now. We'll rush when they start firing at us, and we need to just block them in. So I'm thinking, cavalry on one side. I mean, it's a map that's not going to be great for us, but it has boxed them into a corner. And we'll just, thematically, it's against the hillside. They can't escape. So it kind of works as well. And we just need to make sure they cannot escape from our horrid trap over here. So we'll probably go like that instead. And uh, when they start firing on us, like I say, we will uh, start to uh, run. But for now, we're okay. So all these Javi Cav will kind of have you separate. And then all these boys. They can be the, the meat shields, really. And what I'm thinking of doing is they will start firing on us like this. But that's fine. And let's just make sure that we can actually get into here. So let's start running now. And let's get these guys running as well. Same with the archers. The horse archers, should I say. We don't have any normal archers in this army. And, uh, yeah, where's the map edge? It's all the way over there, so we've got to be very careful here. Let's make sure all of you boys are on fire at will. And we've just got to make sure they cannot escape. So this cavalry is going to close off this area for escape. 
And looks like they are coming. I think they will run away once we get close to them. And now our horse archers. What we're going to do, bring our horse archers down here as well so they just cannot escape um, at all. And I think that's the way to go. And then let's rush forward. They're very strong cavalry units, remember, guys. They're not cheap, rubbish cavalry units. These guys are going to charge, which is a bit annoying, but apart from that... Oh, my God, that was a charge and a half, my boys. So they're going to charge there as well. Let's go up here, then. Atheropora are just going to have to eat it for now, because otherwise, if these guys escape and get round, like, we're screwed, aren't we? So let's go. And ideally, I'd like to kill all of these boys. So let's get these boys in here. Make sure we plug that gap. And let's keep coming. This is it, boys. Hold them in place, boys. Read it and weep, Bactria. Read it and weep. Your death is soon. Your death is soon. Come on. Kill them all. Kill them all. Demonetized right now, boys, now. But anyway, uh, right. Looks like they're going for the mass charge. They just don't know what to do, do they? The poor fellas. What is wrong with you, horse archers? You've never experienced a lovely bit of squishage. Squishage. Let's go after the general then. Let's go, go, go. These, these are horse archers are pretty decent as well. So I've got to say, we'll probably do a good job at fighting them. So let's get in there. Let's also make sure you rally. You can't rally. You guys go after them. Charge them in the back. They're impetuous, actually, some of these boys. So let's go. And while we're at it, let's get you guys in there. Okay, I was, I was waiting for him to say, the, you're dead. Your general's dead. But anyway, this is the problem, though. It's so hard to, uh, to kill all of these horse archers. Okay, kill them. Before they escape, as you can see. Because they're so fast. Okay, let's just try and just kill as many as we can with the our horse archers still firing. Kill them. Oh, you only got down, you got down to twelve men. But yeah, that's fine. Good, good, good. I, well, I'm very happy with that victory. Very happy. That was a very hard battle to fight, and they killed about the same as us. So I mean, fair enough to them. But that was the way we had to fight. That try and back them in the corner. That was a tactic anyway, and they just let us do it. So I'll see you back on the campaign map, guys. Here we are, guys, and yes, great victory. So let's get... Oh, well, apparently that's the way we've got to go to get to the settlement. Uh, so I don't know why they were hiding out in the mountains, probably just scared of our glorious army. Uh, they do still have Kiropolis, though, but I think you know, this army here should be able to deal with Kiropolis as long as they don't have any other secret armies around, which, you know, they might do. So I think we come this way. Let's have a look. That's obviously a rebel settlement. But I kind of want that to remain rebel. Uh, because if we border the Sarka, Raruka, they are very likely to attack us. We are allied right now. But I really don't want another battle and war with a horse archer faction so soon after we have dealt with Bactria and, you know, brought Parthia to its knees. So let's press the end turn. Let's see what happens. Oh, finally, we've got a got a general for this Armenian army. We've still got it. Oh, okay. I don't know why that did that. Still got three turns to wait, though, until we can actually roll this army out. Um, Armenia has left. Uh, it was sieging down there, but they did take... Is it this? Oh, no, that one rebelled against us, and I believe Armenia... No, I don't believe we've ever had Nymphios. I don't think Armenia has actually taken any cities. That's a minor city, so it might be worth... I think what we can do is... Let's have a look. So here, you're going to govern Mazaka. Yeah, good idea, actually, if you can get some good governance skills. Uh, but let's... for the Yeah, so... I mean, we could go here to there, and then from there back round to here. I don't know how easy... Oh, it's not easy to pass through those lands. So it's probably worth going there to there, then back to here, and then up into Armenia. And we don't really know where anything is in Armenia, so that's going to be a bit of a bit of a challenge. But 
We should get some spies, shouldn't we? So let's actually, next turn, we'll recruit a couple of spies in this region, maybe across here. Oh, we, we did. No, it's other faction spies. <laughs> uh, and we can recruit a spy there. So let's uh, recruit one there. Let's uh, press the end turn, though. Let's see what's happening. Cool. So, yeah, I think, yeah, Bactria is pretty much done us, isn't it? I haven't seen any of the, you know, spawned in armies yet, though. And I am a little bit worried that we are going to see one and it's going to be full of cataphracts. That's not exactly ideal, but yeah, it's, it's fine. So Cappadocia probably trying to bribe that settlement there. Atropatine is still our friends, so they should actually probably be at war with Armenia. Uh, maybe or maybe not, I don't know. Uh, Mazika was rioting. Well, good job we're getting this guy in there, isn't it? And he'll actually get in there this turn. He's got one influence, so that should put it up to 75%. Oh, 80%. A whole 10. Maybe he's just gained... Uh, maybe he's got another trait or two. So what I think we'll do is we'll get someone in Zila. Have we built the Odeon in Zila yet? Yet yet? Yet yet. yet. Yes, we have. We have built it yet yet. Uh, and let's go with... Try it on daily games, and let's try and leave. <laughs> try and get the hell out of Dodge. We've got two options around here to go after. Both of them pretty undefended. Problem with the auto-resolving these is they often will lose elephants by doing that. But while we are here, let's just put our single archer in there for now. And then he can be replaced by this guy very soon. I mean, we're not far away. Oh, that's with daily game. 62%. I think we'll, we'll risk it for one turn. See if we can get another temple. Maybe Temple of Hera. Always the Temple of Hera, guys. Temple of Hephaestus, only one available. But let's take it for now. You, uh, you're going in there. You, my friend, are going all the way up to here. This settlement has the plague, so we 100% don't want to take that at all. This has a faction leader, the faction heir, actually, in there. So, yeah, once we've taken that one, we'll move across to Amasea. We've also got Amisos over here. We've just taken Sinope. So, yeah, we are just really, really expanding. Civil Disorder. So, yeah, we know Mazaka. We've sorted that one out. Pecorus again. It's not ideal, is it? What is the issue, though? It is distance to capital and squalor. Got minus 60% happiness. Now, they've destroyed that building. That should bring them back to being happy. But how much... Yes, public order bonus 10%. So that should put them on 74. But, I mean, like I say, if they rebel, uh, we'll lose 572. It's It's not... It's not a problem, is it? <laughs> Let's be honest. <laughs> someone has died. Zeuxis the Just. What a great name. He has died in there. Luckily, we've got someone to, to uh, replace him. Right. Well, we've got a governor in Iconion. So what I think we'll do is start populating these northern cities with governors. Especially the bigger ones, like Tuion. And then, eventually, we will have governors in all these cities. So let's get you. Let's get you up to... I think you go to Zella, honestly. Uh, Paramonos. You're a zero, zero, zero so far, so that's not fantastic. But And you, my friend. Let's get you in, say, Gordion. Oh, I got Ankira. I think you go for Gangra. So you were... Where were you? Around here somewhere. You were there. Let's go for Gangra. Get in there. And let's look at... What do we have here? Amphion. So you're in there. Asphalion the Thinker's 56, which isn't too old, but we got anyone else in here that's really... Well, you're really old. Uh, let's have a look. Got a governor down here. He's 59 and he's still a 0, 0, 0. That's incredibly disappointing. <laughs> what a disappointing bloke you are, my friend. Uh, we've got a couple of governors over here, which might be a little bit scary when they come, uh, yeah. Oh, we've got governors all around that region, but where, where were you, Amphion? I think what we do is we send you up to here, just in case one of those governors dies and they start rebelling. Because 
it's a very it's a situation that could happen very very easily. The Belge are the, the most advanced faction. Are you kidding me? That's a joke, my friends. That is a joke. We are the most advanced faction, clearly. We are clearly the most advanced faction. Right, you guys, let's go join up. And finally, finally, we are on the move. Uh, it's going to take you a while to get anywhere. So let's get into that dock there. Next turn, just so we don't die. Uh, and then we'll go straight to Sparta, my friends. Straight to Sparta. War in Greece finally has come to the Seleucid Empire. So you are ready. You are ready to attack, but we're going to have to do a battle for that one. I'm kind of willing to accept another turn. You can't do anything. You are going there. Let's get you in there. Good. And we'll probably just end up sieging this down. Oh, it's eight turns, though. But I just don't want them to defend the walls. That would be a bit annoying. Did we get another spy? We did. You're going, like, up and around here, though, aren't you? To have a look for cities. Wonder whether there's, like, ways through these places. There is. Yeah, but that's, like, one route. This is another route. So I'm assuming there's another, like, few settlements in there. There's, there's definitely settlements. I know there's settlements in here, but it's just like a wasteland. I don't even know how you get to them. So, I mean, oh, you can come through this way. Well, let's go with the spy that way then. Let's have a look at what we can do. See whether there's more cities. Oh, yeah, there's that one, but it's all the way down this way. That's quite cool. They've gone up that way to find it. So I don't doubt there's... I mean, looking at it, it's a long sliver there. So that's obviously all the way down to here. So that's that region. So there must be a few more cities up there. Uh, not that they're going to be hugely valuable. But they're not going to be terrible either, are they? Right. Have we retrained everyone? Yes, we have. So let's get you out. And let's go auto-sort first. Why have you sorted the archers last? That's dumb. But let's get Eumenus. Eumenus is nine command now. That's fantastic. And I think first things first, we want the horse archers in the army. Let's get four of these boys. Actually, let's all merge these boys. And yeah, let's get the four that actually are worth it. And the fifth. And then we'll go from the back for the infantry. So we'll go this way. How many do we need? So we need nine. So that is... Four, add five, nine. There we are. And we've got four hoplites left. Uh, we'll bring them with us, of course. They will be brought with us as a secondary... No, not into there, my friends. Well, we'll move you first, then. God, it's going to take a while to get through these hills. But then we're into India, guys. And there's a lot of rich land in India. As far away... And it's not, not horrendously far away when you look on the map, like... From Seleucia to over here. It's about similar to our Greece, Greek, and Anatolian lands. So corruption should be about the same level. Let's get you out of Daraspa. Still happy in Daraspa. That's good. And uh, yeah, you can come through this way as well. Don't get in the way of the other army though. That's the main thing. So yeah, good. Good. We are very... We're looking very good up here. So we actually couldn't move any more than we could. But uh, yeah... But yeah, we'll have to beat that army to get through the through the mountains. But we'll just do the same technique as we used last time. Oh, and finally, finally, we should be in a position to take these lands as ours, boys. Finally destroying the Ptolemies. <laughs> yes. One more turn. We'll put these ships together. And we'll go blockade this port. Let's not annoy the rebels in the region because then pirate ships tend to uh, pop up everywhere. <laughs> so we know that these got a few cities on this coast here. There is one inland there as well. So let's keep having a look down here. See if we can find any. Then we'll have a look through the mountains here. See if there's many settlements. Right. Uh, is that everyone? Have we moved everybody? Uh, I believe so. I don't think there's any battles to do. So let's get on to the buildings. 
Uh, Susa. I think Susa was just like, there wasn't really much we could build. Let's go for the execution square. I know it's right next to there, but it'll just keep the happiness up. Okay, lots of buildings being built there. Deliche, let's go for... Let's have a look. Have you got corruption? You do. That only removes 48 of it. It's not that much. That extra 5% law. So there you are. Let's go Babylon. Oh, come on. Why Why does it jump down like that when you press on a city? It makes no sense. <laughs> uh, Babylon. Let's go with the awesome Temple of Tyke. Get that extra cash in there. Apamea City Carne. Let's just see if they have corruption here. It actually doesn't. Good. Thinking, let's go for the Scriptorian. This guy is, is trash, so we need to get some better traits in there. So that's good. Building all the way down here. Chiropolis, Kydonia. Come on. Why is it always jump down? I hear <laughs> Why? <laughs> so annoying. Let's get the market there. Build up a bit of cash. Let's also go for... So yeah, in these like shit places in the middle that there's nothing there. Let's make sure we do build the Odians because they could very easily rebel. Like all these little lands in the middle of a, a the middle of the the hills over here. Like the Odian is going to be so powerful if we need it. Keep that population happy. Over here though, I'm wondering whether it is worth it to build up that port. Probably, and we can get it really cheap because this guy's got ten management. Come on, her my ass. You are wasted in the. Uh, the absolute backwater of our nation over there. Um, let's go for the public baths in Chalcodon. Sidon over here. Let's go with... Uh, how is the corruption looking in Sidon? Actually gaining a little bit. So let's make sure we get rid of some of it. Oh uh, yeah, a lot of these places haven't been built in for a little while. Isaura, where the Isaurian marauders come from. Oh my god, how low! <laughs> Down do you have to go? Let's go for the stables again, just for that extra law. My Lisa, let's go for the Odeon. I mean, these places where they're Greek, they're unlikely to rebel, but it's worth worth it just in case. Crop rotation in there. Myos Hormos, go for the public baths. Samaria, let's go for those paved roads. Let's get those paved roads as in many places as we can. Then over here at Nidos, I think a Ooh, why are you so expensive? You must have a bad trait for building costs, so let's get something slightly cheaper then. Although, you make the, that seem cheaper. Or maybe the dockyard is 8,000 to start with, but anyway, let's build that because it's it's going to be a good building. But they're 5,600 here for the dockyard. Oh well, we'll build it anyway. Patara, let's go for the market. And Facelis, let's go for that secret police HQ. Keep that corruption going down in a lot of these places if we can. But if these dockyards are available, I am just going to take them. Because they take quite a while to build, but they just do so well. Paved roads in Gaza. Memphis, let's go for the... Uh, let's get some more money with that Agora, because we're making 4,000 here. So our trade should be pretty good. Uh, over in Salamis... Great Agora is just so expensive. Let's get that law with the Temple of Hera. Now, Kratis, let's have a look. What do we want? Probably the Odeon. Uh, just in case, you know. <laughs> I've said it a lot, but just in case. <laughs> and then over here, it's probably worth getting the Academy for Polypercon. I believe Polypercon is one of, our, one of Antiochus the Angry's nephews as well. So he deserves, you know, some training. Uh, Alexandria, let's go... I mean, we could get that population growth up a little bit, and we might as well. So we get even more cash. 31,000 in Alexandria, quite a lot. Tanis as well, let's get a bit of extra population growth. Then over here in Rhodes, again, population growth. It's only a large city, so it does need to get up to huge city still. A lot of these places have such a low population growth. So it's definitely worth getting some extra in there, just in case. Great Agora for 3,600. And Tyakos, you are a beastly governor, my friend. How much money is Samos making? 4,000 as well. Good. Good, good, good. Go for the Agora in Arsono Crocodilion, the Crocodile State. Uh, and then Academy in here, so we can get some better traits. It also gives Law the Academy, I believe. Yeah, it does. So, that extra bit of Law is always helpful. Let's get that there. Naxos. Uh, no, not the Pavros. That's pointless. It doesn't do anything. 
Get the Odeon and Naxos just in case. Uh, and then Zessies. Get the paved roads in Zessies. Only making 700 a turn. Wow. That is weak, my friend. Weak sauce. Uh, over here, definitely the trade caravan in Petra. Didn't realize we had that as an option. Odeon down here on the Nile because they are quite upset. Although, that's a Greek city, so it shouldn't be too bad. But those Odeons now we're building, a lot of them are just so powerful. It's worth building them in a few places. Let's get the dockyard in Delos so we can trade with the mainland Greece quite well, especially when we take it over. <sighs> Hibis, let's go crop rotation, bit of extra growth for money. Oh, Antiochia, Marginai, it's got a lot. Let's go, no, we don't want that one, but let's go inland trade center. And not too many that we need to build in still, but yeah, it's, it's a lot, isn't it? Uh, I believe that's everything we need to do this turn. So let's click. We're nearly at 200 BC, guys, as well, which is cool to think. Which is only 70, like, we, we'll, we'll have only done 70 years in game. Okay, no units. I knew this would happen. Oh, we won! Ha! Ptolemy's absolute fools! Come on. Hey, you want a ceasefire? Oh, no, you're trying to bribe me. They're literally trying to get to the other side, <laughs> onto the Caspian Sea. They're like, no, we don't like the Black Sea anymore. We want the Caspian Sea instead. <laughs> trying to bribe us. Fools. Fools, I tell you. Cappadocia as well. Our settlements are loyal. They will not bow to your filthy demands. You absolute fools. Couple of cities upgraded. Alexandria Ariana. And Patara. And we get the standard. Okay, so Lucas the Lude. Oh, no. Diodotus' dad has just died. Ah, oh, well. That's quite sad, isn't it? So we did rebuild the, the sewers. But it just hasn't helped. And killing a lot of the locals hasn't helped either. So, honestly, that's probably going to rebel very soon. And we don't have the troops in this region to deal with it. It just means there's one less city we have. It's fine. Um, lots of public baths have been built, so we should have, and a lot of Odians, as we can see. Just scanning through here to see what our main aim was that turn to build. Because, as I say, we have kind of different aims each turn to build different things. So, let's go. And this is rebelling as well. <laughs> That's good. Rebelling, Bereniki Dieris. Good. How many family members do we have? So, we've got 190 regions. 291 family members. Uh, so, yeah, that's fine. Um, right, this ship, how far can you actually go? That's the question. I mean, from here, we can launch an invasion, I would say, in one turn. So, it would probably be next turn. Well, let's, let's actually take part of that. The only problem is now, if, <laughs> if we get attacked or something, that would be a disaster. Look at that army, though. That is an absolute fat army. Same as that one. Very nice. Uh, oh, we forgot to retrain these boys. How are they not all retrained yet? Oh, did the uh, temple build? Oh, it did. So now we've got men that can have gold, gold. Well, let's build that one as well so we can go gold, gold for everyone. But it's okay. We, we've got time with this army. It's not a problem. Um, and we're not really building any more armies at the minute, apart from the army in Antioch. One more turn until that is actually done. Oh, wait. Is it one more turn? Yeah, it is, because of those two. Three. So we've got two there, and we've got one recruiting. So, yeah. One more turn until they're done. That's great. Let's auto-resolve this. It shouldn't be 138. I don't mind taking that. Oh, dear me, though. This is a settlement that is not happy whatsoever with our rule. We are starting to push through them quite a bit. They've got the secret police HQ there. Temple of Men. The literal Temple of Men. What the... <laughs> I don't think I've seen that one before. Men, 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 men. Right, let's get the Temple of Hera in there as well. That is, this is a very, very upset place. And we can't do games. Oh, dearie me. And we've got pretty much a full army. What I will do, however, is move the cataphracts and the elephants out of the army. In fact, they could actually probably... They would beat that army. Let's go. <laughs> I think they'll come out. They'll sally out at us. 
But we can definitely beat that army with the elephants and cataphracts, no problem. Okay, Zikos has upgraded. Good, nice. And Aesis has a runner. So, because I didn't want this to riot and damage the cataphracts and elephants, which would be a bit of a disaster, where did we build our recruitment hub around here? It wasn't Zella, was it? It was, was it this one? Tauion? Did we build a recruitment hub around here? Or was it Mazika? No, it definitely wasn't Mazika. I sure... Oh, Makamana Pontos, maybe. Oh, no, that's the one we've just taken. Let's retrain all these boys, seeing as they can get retrained. And it looks like they're going to actually attack us next turn. Which is good. That's good for us. And like I say, we're just going to grind this down a little bit more. Uh, while we are dealing with a few different armies. But no, they don't have this region. So we might be at the... Oh, no, they've got this one here. Well, there's so many, there's so little ways through these lands. We've got to go and try and find the Armenian settlements over here. Like, where are they? Probably around there. And I said I was going to recruit a couple of spies, so let's recruit two. And yeah, I think we're, we're in a pretty good place. So in terms of the north, we've moved all the armies. You're retraining again to get gold on all those boys, which is good. You're waiting, you're waiting. In the north, we need to move. That's the one place we do need to move. Uh, you can, should come down here. Hopefully, they haven't taken anywhere else. That would be a bit annoying. So, let's go down to Bactria Town. And uh, let's get over here. Oh, yes. I, I tell you what, this has been so enjoyable, this episode. I've really, really enjoyed it, you know. And I'm just about to go and watch some Rugby World Cup. So the day just keeps getting better, my friends. Right, let's see if we can auto-resolve this. I mean, 336. Probably about expected. Oh, and we can actually get all the way down into the city now. What is round that city? What the hell? Oh, we've got so few men. <laughs> the wooden wall is so far outside the city. How many turns, though? Seven turns. Well, we can kind of wait it out. It means they can't actually take anything. So, uh, uh, sorry, recruit anything. But let's start building again. And what we'll do this time is we'll build from the bottom because we built from the top for quite a few times in a row. So let's build from the bottom. All our most recent conquests from the bottom and make sure they're all happy. Like, Sinope is not that happy right now. Um, I think Execution Square is always a good option to go for. Anisipopolis, Anisipopolis. I hate that wall being not in the city, so I might have to just build this. <laughs> so, sorry, it's a waste of a building, but I don't want to see that anymore. So, all these Bactrian ones, we just want we just want economic buildings, like paved roads all the way through here. Um, Sasamos is a bit different. Let's get the ship. Oh, that's expensive, though. I think what'll just bring us more money is the Execution Square. Uh, Ptolemy's Theron. Let's build that paved roads, although it's only going to the port. Uh, no, there's no point. There's literally no point building anything here. Probably the bit of law from the from the military buildings will be fine. But Maruka, again, paved roads so we can get more and more cash around here. Same thing, Antiochia, Scythia. Uh, Gangra, again, paved roads is a good option around here as well because we are moving uh, troops to and from the front line. I do need to find where I have put that um, put that recruitment hub. I'm sure I built a recruitment building in one of those places. So I need to need to go and check that out. Bactria Zariaspa. Let's build. Uh, no, sorry. Bactria Zariaspa and Bactria Zariaspa. Why did I build that? I need to build anti-corruption buildings and economy buildings around here. 9,000 in Bactria Zariaspa now. Jesus Christ. And we, can, we could be making 11,000 from this place if we got rid of the corruption. Wow. Benedike Trodglidite. That definitely could benefit from some roads. Kaidonia over here. Um, I mean, roads on Crete is fine now because they're actually connected to each other. So, fine. Kauris. What, what economic building could we build? I mean, apart from, you know, Temple of Hera. Let's... 
Uh, not the academy. Let's keep going with the Temple of Hera then. Less corruption. Tower on. Let's go with the baths. Keep those boys happy. And Kira definitely want that trade caravan. Yes, please. Cortina, we need happiness here. So, oh, it's on 70% though. It's fine. Uh, Maracanda. Uh, again, economic buildings ideally, but... So, let's go for the Great Agora. It's making 6,000. It should, it should really enjoy the Great Agora. Let's go for the Agora in Nisa. Uh, now, do you know what, Nisa? Let's build the wooden walls and let's actually get stone walls because... If Parthia attacks us and tries to take tries to take Nisa, we will be in a good position. Let's get that for law. Um, good position to defend if we have stone walls, even if we've got a shit garrison, because they'll that will be a full sort of horse archer army. So yeah, I think that's the best option. Ariathon, let's go for sewers. Pessinus, let's go for the large temple of Hera. And you know what? We'll rename one of those places after um, Euminus. So we'll call it Eumenion or something. Uh, large mines in Mazaka. I mean, Mazaka is a rich, rich settlement. So let's go for the Inland Trade Center. How much money will that make? Oh, woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Thousand for the boys. Let's go. Antiochia Oikodomon. So that is for Antio Antiochus the Builder's Settlement that he was named after. Uh, sorry, the settlement named after him. So Tribactra. Let's go for the River Ports. Uh, Metropolis. Ooh, there's not much we can really do in here. Build that just in case for some extra lore. Dorylion. Let's go for the crop rotation. Parnassos. We got a governor. No, we haven't. So let's go for the. I think. Yeah, just Temple of Hero everywhere, really. Is Apart from, you know, places where we could benefit from the Temple of Taiki, everything else is uh, Temple of Hero. Uh, and, of course, the Temple of Hephaestus for our military hubs. Gordion. Let's go for the Agora. How are we doing for money? 30,000 still left. So let's just get some cheap buildings in and see whether we can actually build everywhere. Uh, I mean, Karakata is a good one. So we do want the Temple of Hephaestus in there for a bit of extra because that's a recruitment hub up in that region. Uh, wooden wall in there. Let's go. What's this one? I think paved roads at Palmyra is definitely the best option. It's doing quite well. Zella, like we say, is not happy at all. They do have the uh, Lyceum thing. So let's go for the execution square there. And let's have a look. Amethus. Let's go for that secret police HQ. Salamis. Let's go for that to get some population growth. Philadelphia, let's go for the crop rotation. And Gadara, let's go for the paved roads. Uh, Kios. Odeon and Kios, definitely. Because it gets a bit upset every now and then, which is a bit annoying. So go for the same thing there. Uh, Iasonion, same thing. Odeon. Apamea Regiana. Uh, let's go for that one. Harmosia. What's cheap? I mean, not that much. Uh, let's just go for the stables for that law. Oh my god, we are so close to building everywhere, guys. I think this is the closest we've been. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, those. Oh, those are, <laughs> I thought we were close. We weren't that close, but we were pretty close. So, yeah, that's pretty good. But I think we'll end it there, guys. So thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure as always. Make sure you do like and subscribe this video, of course, or Mr. Cherry will come after you. But thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure. And I will see you all again on the next video.